think it's important for all courses, but for online courses in particular, um, you're looking at day one access to materials. So having students not have to wait the time for um, financial aid to get access to the textbooks through ordering them online or whatever. Um, they're actually embedded into the instructional content, which is pretty amazing so that you have the the reading right there and then the lesson and assessment right after it so the student can flip back and forth between the two and be able to complete the work all without having to leave the LMS. So I don't have to worry about um, out of date editions or weird versioning or things like that so that students are all working with the same exact content that the instructor intended them to be working with. Open educational resources um, make sure that the students have access to the textbook um, without any financial barriers um, so they be can begin participating in the course immediately no matter what their status is. Um, over the past year we worked with about 40 of our full-time faculty who teach online at Herkimer College um, to include as many open educational resources as possible in both their online and on-campus courses um, to make learning more accessible just for the, for the students. Um, in some cases it was easy to find materials, um, in some cases it's not. Um, it really depends on how specialized the course content is. I want to say we've done it with more than 50 courses, um, or 50 sections anyways, if not 50 courses. And uh, the students have been giving us good feedback. Um, in some cases the students have even, where there's a required textbook, have gone out and find, found their own open educational resource to run past the instructor to see if that's okay for the course, and in some cases it has been. Um, so our students are really gravitating towards open educational resource courses. The faculty have, have gone out and searched for resources. Um, we had an open educational resource um, workshop on our campus with uh, Lumen Learning. Um, so a lot of the resources we use are through uh, the Lumen website um, and we're hoping to make this a little bit more, a little bit easier to find and incorporate the content um, because uh, we're going to work with Lumen to provide a tab in Blackboard that, uh, for, so that they can search for, for more resources. So I was attracted to OER because I, I was a composition instructor, so I redid my course design constantly because I wanted to keep things fresh and interesting for myself as well as my students and talk about current day events. Um, I found that the basic nuts and bolts of you know how to write a sentence, how to organize an essay, those don't change. <laughs> so paying a lot of money for a textbook to tell you those things is ridiculous um, in my opinion. Um, so if we can find a resource that's stable, that I know that I can trust and point my students towards. Um, I was using that before I realized that OER was a thing, just pointing students towards free resources. Now I actively look for the Creative Commons copyright, which I think is important, um, and speaks to the um, item in the rubric that if it says something that doesn't quite agree with my course structure and what I'm telling my students elsewhere, I can actually physically change it so that there's a uniformity between the text and what my students are doing in their assignments. Some of the pitfalls we've run into, um, for example, um, in one semester we moved most of our, our uh, on-campus and online Intro to Psychology courses to open educational resources. Um, they're, they're, those courses are geared towards brand new students. It's their first semester at Herkimer um, and they're just overwhelmed with everything else. Um, so a lot of our instructors on campus anyways, the online ones stuck with the open educational resources. The on-campus instructors have moved away from them to the traditional textbook um, and now they're mostly using the open educational resources for the higher level courses because those students have everything else down pat. The big thing is it's going to be a time investment. Um, even if you find an, an, a complete textbook that answers exactly what you do in your course. It's not exactly the same process as just swapping one textbook for another. You, you change editions or change years. Um, to use OER most effectively, you're actually looking at what you're teaching and why, you, why you're teaching it. Um, and so or, OER is really a process of looking closely at your course objectives and aligning the content to match those objectives, um, which takes some time. So. We, we all recognize that it's not a fast process and we, you know, we'll, we'll support you as much as we can during that process, but it can be done in slow increments and so 
I guess that's one thing to keep in mind is that you don't have to flip an entire course OER all in one go. It can be gradual, it can be, you know, one module at a time. That will, your students will appreciate that. So if you're interested in using OER, um, I would seek out your reference librarian or your instructional designer, um, or both, because they're both going to have a pretty good idea about what starting points, what's already available in your field. Um, and they can point you towards the most easily adopted resources. Um, depending on the kind of course, you may have to piece three or four different resources together to get everything you need, but that's the beauty of OER is you can do that. You would never have your student buy three or four textbooks, but you might pull from three or four different resources and that's perfectly okay. Um, so that's one of the exciting elements about it. Um, I would also encourage you to talk to the people in your field that have already done it and there are a lot of forums online. Um, your SUNY OER services people can help you with, connect you with other people in your field that have done the same thing. Um, so you can actually get a real person's perspective on what, what it's going to entail. Thank you.